I thought we were going this way. This is probably where all the eternal fire stuff is. Okay. Let's just take a step back here. Forget we saw anything. That was the place that I was saying, oh, this seems strange. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is actually the bridge. That's the place that was so dark. I thought that this was... In this direction we were headed. Yeah. See, from this angle, that marker is a little misleading. It's like... Ah, you're right. It's not clear if you ought to go this way or this way. It's kind of in between because the city curves around a bit. This is where I'm meant to go. I don't think we've seen either. What is that? Eh? Can we get up there? Possibly, actually. Again, this is probably a bad idea. By probably, I mean certainly a bad idea. Let's save. And the parkour adventures of Geralt of Rivia continue. But you're up here. What is up with all the butlers doing the carpentry? Is that a thing? Is that actually what butlers do? Yeah, maybe we actually are supposed to be able to do this? Okay, so like this is an example of one of those things where there may be guards here, but surely None of them are going to see us take this, or if they do, then they're not going to stop us, right? So, bad idea, yes, but still possible. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ah, darn. You guys were also saying that it is possible to break our fall if we do something like jump, right as we're about to land, is nifty, like that. Oh, I kind of did it there. Yes, did get there. However, no, there's not anything here. So, also, how do we get down? If I go here, I think that should actually be pretty safe, but... There we go. Not so bad, after all. This might actually be tougher. I'll drop there. Up here. Okay. Didn't even break our ankles. No big deal. Gotta try a little harder next time. Attempting to take this up because it doesn't look like there are any guards here. Just surprising me a little bit. Oh, with there still being rich town people in this area. Go in here. We can. Have we been in here yet? It looks familiar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we went in here through the other door. And... Hey. I did not quite catch the name of that. Is this the same building we were seeing before as a result of an incident of racial nature? Yeah. This might also just be the other side of this building. It's a guard right there. Yes, we shouldn't take these. Hmm. Down here? Nope. It has metal on it. You know the answer. Down here? Is this the sewers as well? What is this? No, just a little uh, overpass, underpass, whatever you want to call it. I suppose underpass of anything. Hmm. Okay. And now if we head out, we'll see if this door is openable. It is not. I think if we go here, we will now be in the general area we were looking for. I don't think I remember seeing this place. I feel like I would remember this cool looking pathway. Though it does have another not so splashy area. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to go splashy splashy in the place where you can't actually go splashy splashy. You know? Ah, uh, what you can dream. Okay. So, let's head on down here. It doesn't seem like there's anyone for us to talk to there, although I suppose we could maybe see if there are any, uh, dwarves, though I don't think so. 
Sounds like there's a bit of a commotion down here. Where exactly, though? Don't quite know. This guy, who is preaching. In front of the eternal fire. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think this, well, is this new to us? We might have seen this. Yeah, I remember running into this door, I think. Yeah, because we were trying to go through this here. This seemed like a big building. We could do it. We blocked. Okay. I think we've done all that. Let's make our way a little bit further toward our marker that we've set for ourselves then. I remember that door there as well. This area that seems strange in terms of the weird elevation change. Tried to this stuff, but there was possibly a guard here. So maybe we've been close to this spot than I realized. What is going on? Hmm. Now we are on the northern border, but with the water here. So yeah, maybe there is not too much ground left for us to cover. Is this a prison? We saw the... well, there are children in there, so I hope not. We saw the prison-like walls, I think, on basically the other side of that. Method for exercising witches. Lots of witch hunters. And then this over here is the merchant we're looking for. Oh, and you have an exclamation point. Okay. All right. What have you got? Definitely there? not spoken Magic to you yet. Accessories, alchemy ingredients, potions, and much more. Interesting. Don't look a bit like a mage. True. Perhaps because I'm not a mage, I just. Take care of the sundries the poor folk who burn at the stake leave behind. Ensure they end up in the right hands. Oh. So you... Yeah, you're a vulture. Of sorts. Scavenger. Fine, well, what do you have? Let's see Lord what you have. rarities at unbeatable pra Oh shit, you didn't see me here. Oh? Chunters? Maybe? The halfling. What did he want? And why did he bolt when he saw us coming? I have no idea. I bet they're witch hunters, and he does business with witches. Because he's just saying he sells alchemical stuff. Sells the property of dead mages? Yeah. Left his soup on the burner. Okay, so it sounds like we could either cover this guy by making it seem like he's not up to any foul play, or we could just mess up. Now... I think, you know, witches are not terrible. They kind of get a bad rap, and sure, there are a lot of witch hunters here. But I think we can, we can let this guy go. You know, here, say, like, selling goods to Triss. Would that be something that we'd be mad about? Like, no. Perfectly fine. So, I think we can go Left for him. Left soup on the burner. As well as everybody believe us. you on the burner, wise and us. Got my eye on it. Let's go. Oh. Hey, dear. Are you gripping a pair of pincers? Okay, it is a new quest. My stuff. Got an experience points, which is something. Yeah, okay, did he drop something hmm. along the way? Quite the brew. Halfling wasn't lying. Sense gotta be carrying quite a ways. Okay. Let's take a look at what this quest says. It will be a secondary quest, I'm assuming. And level six only. Find the mysterious merchant using your witcher senses. Okay. We may have even avoided any fights there. Seeing as how we, of course, seem to have dodged those witch hunters there, but who knows? We'll deal with the witches, then we'll come for you. Don't you worry. Okay. Good. Some of this stuff as well. Along the way, of course, this will perhaps take us past places that we have not yet been. Uh, that I did not press any buttons there. That was a little bit alarming. I didn't know for this job. No one getting mad at us. And a decent item, no less. Likewise. Well, maybe not as valuable, but still. Mostly just no one trying to send the cops after us. Okay. Here, hopefully. 
Meteorite, yeah. Definitely worth taking a Lunar Shard as well. I think it's pretty darn rare. Definitely a good thing that we picked it up. There's still a merchant here. I'm thinking that's probably our guy. I think so, although there are still more places here. I think while we're heading this direction, let's at least double check as to whether there's anything we can do here. And, well, at least I'm pretty sure it's pretty clear. However, not terribly useful. That's something. And plenty of Dwarven Spirit, that much is for sure. Yeah, the, I guess so. One of the most common things for us to loot in town, it would seem. We head down there, and that may still be a section that we've not quite explored just yet. But I think we've gotten a little bit more along the edge of town here, and therefore Probably fine for us to say hey, hello to our merchant's friend. We and found you're him. a fine fella for not ratting me out. Prepared to give you a discount for that, mate. So, shall we trade? I suppose so. Yeah, let's. Hopefully no interruptions this time. What do you have? You have more of those various signs, or glyphs rather. Hmm. This was infusion. Yeah, we did see one of these previously, but I still don't remember what it actually goes toward. We were previously talking about trying to buy a powdered pearl, and this might be a way to get one at a bit of a discount, as this guy was saying. Presumably this is a bit of a lower price than we would normally get. Huh. Trail of Witchers, Volume 1, read for additional information. It's relatively cheap. I don't know. Conjunction of Spheres. Ghouls and Alcools. Isn't that... The book that Vesemir was trying to read to Siri way back at the very beginning of the game. Thought so, that sounds familiar. Hey, should we buy some alchemy paste? I'm pretty sure we still have 2,000 of these. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't really like getting the ghouls and alchemy one probably makes some sense. I don't know if we actually get much out of conjunction of spheres or stuff about witchers, but I suppose we could do it and then I don't think we have too much to sell because we did break down a lot of things into components we picked up a little bit in the way of hides like this is an inexpensive hide this one is probably better off to break into components because for four coins it's like not a huge deal whereas nine is also not a ton so that one's maybe a little more borderline six same thing yeah these might be better hold on to and later turn into components. So our fizz deck, nah. I might send the wrong signal. Dump our vials. Because they are junk. Our platters, I don't remember what those turn into. Okay. Yeah, so I mean we could buy some crafting materials, mostly just because they're theoretically at a small discount. I do want to read Ghouls Now Ghouls, though. And we may or may not have just finished that quest with him. As for the genesis of ghouls, there are hypotheses plenty. Some scholars claim these monstrosities arose from scoundrels who indulged in a taste for human flesh, and through this misdeed, threw the wrath of the heavens down upon themselves. The gods punished them by taking away their souls, their minds, and their human forms. Our experiments have shown, however, the ghoul anatomy displays far too little in common with that of humans for this thesis to seem at all probable. Any and all similarity in appearance between ghouls and men, such as their somewhat kindred shapes and the measures of their uh, physio genomes, uh, are pure matters of incidental circumstance. It thus follows that ghouls, like their vile cousins the owl ghouls, are post-conjunction spheres, creatures. Yes, conjunction of spheres is a thing, but creatures. That is to say, such beings as came to our universe uh, in an abrupt cataclysm disrupting the normal laws of nature. Okay. Have we read... Oh, these are the new maps that we picked up a little while ago, but we've not yet read. Beautiful. Professor Slavko Atomstein will be furious. 
I lost the first map in a game of Gwent, which I'm pretty sure we picked up. And then the second was stolen from me when I was slightly indisposed after a hard night at, in the casino. I cannot arrive empty-handed at the station near the tomb under Crookback Hills. Uh -huh. But the professor will vivisect me on the spot. Yikes. Four new locations I have marked on this map might be enough to protect me from his wrath. Crookback Hills? We've been there, I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping we pick up that map. Edwin Greylaw, adjunct in natural history at Oxenberg Academy. Okay, what about this one? Heavily faded notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. Elgar placed upgrades to the School of the Wolf Witcher gear in three different caves in the area immediately south of Kaer Morn. He hoped future generations of, wister, of witchers would find them in an hour of need. Well, maybe. Okay. So are we done with that quest? We are. That makes sense, now that we have, you know, let this guy emerge, or escape, unscathed. And we have some new quests for hunting down some gear, which depends where that is, and some of it has been decent level, some of it has been fairly high for us. The one that I'm assuming is, you know, the wolf gear stuff is supposedly south of Cairn Morn, so that's probably not going to be a good fit for us here. But... Battlefield loot? That is also something that we might consider doing soon, because that's level 20. That school gear. I thought there was one of these other Witcher school gears, uh, treasure hunts that was in the northernmost part of Novgrad, so if we do make it over to the, the northern island, then that's something we could also perhaps consider doing. This, I'm pretty sure, is the one we just picked up. And it's level 34, and it's in Skellige, so no way. At least not at the moment. This, I think, is the other one. And so, again, totally different location and too high level. So, yeah. This is in Velen. Level 23 is, again, one of those ones where we definitely want to pick up a few levels before we do it. As for whether we can make that happen with our series of level 20 quests, and by series, I mean precisely two level 20 quests, I still don't necessarily think that's enough between Battlefield loot and Mysterious Tracks. So, still would love if we could eke out a little bit more from something else. And for that reason, I wouldn't necessarily rule out Pirates of Novigrad. Seems like we are perhaps getting close to the point where that would make some sense, because we're getting pretty close to exploring the entire city at this point. We have now, we have little bits and pieces around here. Ooh, let's get to that quest before it disappears. There are little bits and pieces around this northwestern area here, including, including this spot right here, I think, we've not yet explored. But once we've done that, we'll have, I think, everything shy of this northernmost area here. And of course, we did accidentally poke our heads in here ever so briefly. So, yeah, we're getting close, I think. We're getting done what we want to get done. At least in terms of exploration in Novigrad. Uh, those are not guards. So I think that that might be reason for us to say get the ball rolling on the main quest, because I think we saw that in Velen as well. When we started doing the main quest, we started having a bunch more side quests suddenly pop up. So I'm not necessarily sure that will happen, but it's I would think, theoretically, a possibility. Are we able to loot something from the other side of this? Or, oh, no, that's just igniting this. I was like, is Geralt about to weave his hand through the window? Swipe something? Maybe. More stuff here. Any guards? I don't think so. We're getting back into what is more so the not-as-well-off area of town, I think a lot more of the uh, the beggars and people other than the rich townsfolk, so I think that also means fewer guards. We want to make a point of making it to this quest, though, before anything disappears. So we might head back here to double-check if there's anything else for us, but at least at the moment. Oh, no. You again? We already fought you in Novigrad. 
Prepare for battle. You shall You're not be now? easy this time. Brought friends. <laughs> they all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Uh, is that so? Yeah, is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Um. Yeah, see, but like, you guys just all the night. You'd better go home, get some sleep, think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Yeah. We're done, eh? Okay. Oh, you scared. Ron Pitt's friend. It's actually their name. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Alright, and that was actually, I think, 90 experience there. So, I mean, it's a bit. Not sure what level quest that technically was, but that, of course, seems to be a fairly strong influence as to how much experience those quests give, so gets us closer, but we're still, of course, not exactly on the doorstep of reaching level 17. There's lots of stuff over here, including puddles for us to splash in. And I think this is pretty darn safe. There's another door over there to go to other places. Yeah, I think. Whoa, Mira Ingot. Do not mind if I do. Yeah, this should be an area where there are still lots of other things for us to explore. I think, yeah, obviously we were going around a little bit in that area previously, but there are a few pockets that we've not yet done anything in. Guards. Are there any? I don't think so. Even though this is kind of a main road. No reaction. No reaction. No reaction. You were also not a guard. He's here. No reaction. Uh, I saw that. You could, like, let me just say take it. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Sure. Still another one there? Yeah. What was that? This deck attic? Yeah, someone tells me that guy's not gonna turn us in. You know, otherwise, we'll turn him in. However, he does have a lot of stuff next to him. At this point, I'm fairly certain that we are fairly safe in the Harborside area. God, look at all this stuff. I mean, not that it's all super valuable, but still, just through sheer quantity. Come on. There it is. can go through there, but we'll take this instead. On, back up a little bit, then you approach. Sulfur is not bad. Get all these? Yeah, we did. Okay. Four vials? I mean, that's not terribly relevant. Okay. We're all, all these are lootable. We're in a slightly different place now. We'll just do a quick check. You are not a guard. Huh? Oh, there are enemies below. Yes, I vaguely remember that there's an area down here where there were some kind of bandits. I did fight before. This is actually... This is in a slightly different area than I thought we were in. I thought we were more back up here. So we have been in this general area. We just... We're quite literally right on the water. And it had not gone far enough to see that we could take all this stuff. Is 
still hesitating just a second to see if we get any reaction when we start to loot stuff. So that way we can back it up if we need to. Hey, no, 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 you got the wrong Witcher. Who's that other white haired Witcher? That is everything there. This would be the exact area that we went across previously. Across the water and. Whoa! Really? Not sure why these guys are fighting us. Are they always. confrontational? Thought we'd walked past several of them before. Wouldn't have thought they'd get mad at us for stealing things, so I'm a little confused. Also, we, of course, have a bit of a standoff here. And part of me says, let's just back off. Because this seems like perhaps it's some misunderstanding. But maybe not. What kind of enemies are we talking about down there? Those I thought were just random bandits. But the fact that those guys were affiliated with a specific gang makes me a little bit concerned, because if we start making enemies with a specific gang at this point, then... Uh, I don't know, that seems like that might be not a great thing. So I thought that... I'm assuming at some point that is likely to end up happening. Crap with the main quest, so let's save here. I don't know. What did we do to make these guys mad at us, is basically my point. Is this their secret base? That does look significant. Hello. I guess kinda hoping to say Ow. Of course push you off the ledge. That would have been way cooler. Yes? I mean, I'm hesitant to do this, because I feel like. People get mad at us for taking out their friends. I don't know if they will do that or not, but it seems possible. But again, I don't know if we actually did something to make them mad at us, or if they're just always mad at anyone who happens to see them. But I thought we saw people like that. Oh, hello. People that were members of that gang. Who did not just immediately start getting mad at us and trying to fight us? Can we go in here? Looks like we could. Go in here? On a future occasion, I think we will. Yeah. I think that that is a symbol for one of the gangs and that this is their main building. And we just so happened to come across it at a specific time when, well, this guy's gonna try to fight anyone outside. Block now because oh we're not supposed to go there yet, but eventually we will. That's my guess. So and this is an area that we technically have been to. We have not yet looted. I think we were mostly just zooming through. Is an enemy here as well? Kind of enemy though. Stop walking into his soul. Okay, see these are just random bandits and thugs. Like that I would expect. That doesn't concern me. It's when they are affiliated with a specific group, they could theoretically have long-term repercussions. That concerns me more. Not worried about these guys. Probably do we still have enough inventory space after having just dumped much of our stuff pick up even junk items like maces. We could do it here. I'm not a huge fan of it still, because this stuff is not going to sell for much, and it does still weigh a lot. But we can do it. So I suppose, on the assumption that we will get to another trader sometime in the not-so-distant future, probably still acceptable. This was the stuff we were looting. When we saw those guys show up on our map. Hello, Geralt. Okay. Now, admittedly, 
Oh, is it because we have our sword out? Maybe that's why. No, those are the bandits. Shut up and fight. It seems like there are a lot of them over here. Come on. Bring your friends. I kind of want to get both simultaneously. And you know, in case that wasn't enough. That's at least a magic version of that type of sword. That as well, theoretically, has a way to get in. I think it is still the same building. It's kind of further, at least in my head, reinforces that theory, but don't tell me the answer, I suppose, because that, if that is true, I would think it would start to enter spoiler territory. Just speculating. Just having some fun with it. Because, yeah, that's locked here. Two. And they also keep lots of old bear hides outside, which, I mean, everyone knows. That is, like, number one sign that you are a serial criminal. We loot all these. Aw, oh, darn. Getting my hopes up. Let's take Boy, this, though. Looking at me I'm pretty sure. Right, boy. Anything left? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So... I mean, I wasn't necessarily thinking we'd be spending much time right on the water like this, as much as I was thinking we'd start to push a little further inland. Say, like here, we had to rush through a bit. Get through that building, right? Still some stuff to loot here. Anyone else? No. In which case, don't mind if I do. Admittedly, now I'm getting a little aggressive with the looting and not waiting to see if anyone's actually going to come to try to get mad at us. It is a dangerous habit to get into. What is this? Ooh, door we can actually go through. I did not expect that to happen. I will admit, I expected this to be locked. Then we wouldn't have been able to pick up the apple. So thank goodness that we did try it. No, not anything else there. Okay. About up here. This is the rule. As is this. That's locked. However, up here, weird wind sounds, and theoretically at least, more to loot. Chronicles of Rodania, I do think we've read. More water. Please tell me that's not how you fill the baths. It's actually not what I was looking to do. I was looking to do was say, like, use ladder that is currently directly in front of our faces. Um, like, there we go. Okay. This is where you keep the good stuff. Powdered pearl. If we were looking at potentially purchasing some of that to pick some up for free, that's nice. Anything else that has stuff in it here? Do not think so. We could check, see if that is actually, ooh, that was close to just falling down there. Could check to see if we can now actually craft anything. But, uh, I don't know, that is mostly speculative. Okay, that was odd. 
just seemed like in the past I vaguely remember that there might have been things that needed that ingredient but I couldn't say specifically what they were or whether that is still the current state of things here. That was probably a bad idea. Start going up this ladder as well. This would be the more straightforward way of getting up to this part. Mm. Not much, it would seem. Okay. So again, if we continue to check out this little circle, square of sorts. <coughs> we try this door. Can't go there. Plenty of stuff here, though. Still pretty sure those aren't guards, so I'm pretty sure we're good. But again, pause ever so briefly. Just to be safe. Try these? No, we've not. Meteorite ingot, and it is definitely worth it. Off the matter is also valuable. Meteorite ore, also valuable. Off the matter, also valuable. Those are very nice. How uh, do we actually get those? Now we have. That's locked. Get everything here. Ah, uh, there is a second floor of goodies. Do actually appear lootable. Don't see a ladder. Do not see a ladder, though. How do we get there? Hold on. I can't tell if that's actually going to give us additional elevation. I don't think so. It's not that little bench. Bath. Maybe ever so slightly, but I think it's still far enough away that it's not really gonna be enough. Uh, can we make that happen? Or we might as well get stuff here while we can. Or meteorite ignit ingots. That is, uh, yeah. We'll take it. Interact for sure. Can we say, like, have you give us a little oh. push? Can you give us a boost? Hold on. I mean, I was partially kidding, but actually... Uh, you could just, like, stand there for a second. Now, a little bit closer, preferably. Oh. What? It's like, stand right there, dude. Stand still. Let us jump oh. off your head. What's the big deal, man? Just be cool about it, okay? Oh. One and two. Ah, oh, no. Or we could see if we could, say, get on the ceiling, on the roof here. And then drop down, but... That's typically not ended well when we've gone for that strategy. On some occasions, we have been able to just kind of, like, loot and then... We'll jump and then loot. Can't really do it there. Ooh. Any way in here? That's locked. That's locked. That's lootable. As is this. As are these. Maybe we just settle. Guys, still plenty of loot to go around, it would seem. That's from some of the bandits we were fighting earlier, and didn't have too much else of note. Mm. This stuff here? Yeah, some of it at least. We take that. Thought I might have again seen a second floor that. We would have had some stuff on it. Oh, hold on. That does get us in here. I have no idea if this building would have been locked to us or not. And if so, how are we going to get out of here? I think even from the interior, we're not allowed to go through locked doors. 
but we can let that be a future lids problem. There's a ladder. Yeah, I was gonna say, how else do we get down? Some kind of large barn. Perhaps with no animals in it. Ooh. All the big chests and all you have in it is bread. How dare you. Okay. More stuffs. Water. Sounds like someone's scratching their skin or something. I can't see any other people in here, at least I don't think. Back here. Yeah, there's some stuff. Here as well. Ah. This door. That is locked. We still can't go through there. Can we go through the main door? Or do we have to find a way back through the way we came? We have to find a way back through the way we came. Okay. Let's check how feasible that is. If it's just as simple as this, then... Yeah, okay, that should be too bad. This. Uh, no. Is this gonna be okay? Yeah. Like, I was like, ah, oh, no big deal. Sure, I see witchers climbing on the rooftops all the time. This one, yeah, still locked. Yeah, so I think we've now gotten everything out here, because this is back where our merchant friend was. Welcome. I didn't mean this guy. Welcome. This is someone we've seen, though. Or so I thought. I think it's what the, same voice, the same character model as someone else we saw in another area of town. Oh! A whole lot of empty bottles is what you have. And we could sell some of our junk to you. I mean, we did pick up some junk weapons, namely some Novigrad longswords that we could perhaps sell for a little bit more to someone else. Is it worth it when they're worth so little to begin with? Same with the maces. In fact, I'm actually not sure we have a weaponsmith that we can sell to at the moment. Because we have the armorsmith, yes. That we do have. But the weaponsmith is currently the dumpling dude, and he is not yet ready to partake of the weapon sales just yet. So I think we probably, in that case, do want to seize this opportunity to sell some bad stuff. Otherwise, it's going to start to accumulate. And we mostly just picked it up for the sake of selling it quickly, because otherwise, yeah, it'll start to weigh us down. Mostly just stuff coming from bandits that are a dime a dozen. And so uh, we could theoretically just pick up more or less infinite of those if we were to say just non-stop fight more of those bandits. And so we could say sell the armor to the uh, armor smith. Then those definitely would be worth more, but I mean, this is worth 14 coins. Would it be worth 15 coins if we sold it to that guy? If so, then don't think it's a huge deal. Same thing with this, 23. I think we'll take the convenience fee of not getting quite as much in return for selling it to this guy who's directly in front of us. So long. Okay. But yeah, see, like, that's weird how we've run into so many merchants that have not actually been merchants. Like, they have the name merchant. You try to say hello to them, they won't do anything. But this guy does have the name merchant, yet does not have any symbols on the map to indicate that he is a real merchant. You would have thought that he's a phony, and yet we were able to do it. Uh, um, can we? Can we loot this, perhaps? Maybe from the water? I vaguely remember that the first time we went in this area, we had a lot of these uh, crates that were this general shape, and we were not able to, uh, to open. And so I'm thinking this is probably one of said crates. What's up, Blue? How are you? Come on. Come on! Nah, maybe we just pass on that one then. Okay. 
Oh, this is low. Actually, lots of stuff here. Lowing ore. Okay, sure. Take that, I guess. And I'm pretty sure that we've looted everything out there. But like I said, we've been to the the actual harbor side before. It's more so the interior, like back alley. So we've not spent any time looting. Like right here, say. Any guards to catch us? Nope. Oh, not bad. Okay, okay. This, I swear. Yep. I know that also had loot. You can't fool me. So. That just about everything. Why is your hair so gray, darling? In the spot, what is your name? Huh? What's new? I've only seen that name very infrequently. I'm assuming that's also one of the crime lords in this area. But seemingly not one of the more notable ones. I mean, at least based on the general presence that they have in the city. Seems as though there are other people that you see all over the place. Other henchmen. Who? That's probably worth taking. You're right, that's big. Uh, can we, like, say actually this stuff, though? Hold on. Walk away, and then come back. This time. Maybe. Maybe not. Hold on. Uh, attempt number three, except this is a slightly different area, and these don't actually have things that are lootable. Hold on. Attempt number three slash four. We still cannot take them. Oh, I saw it for a second. Don't you tease me like that. Don't you do that. That was... Oh, okay. That's something. Hold on. Let's get ourselves trapped in this corner. Behind all the loot that we're trying to loot, but actually cannot pick up. Ooh. All for water. Totally. Really? So far away. Like that. So it doesn't do anything. And probably we'll just draw attention to ourselves. And the fact that we are sealing things right now. But, yeah. Maybe we pass. Maybe we just pass. And I think it is now getting close to daytime. We have looted most of the things I truly wonder in this area. Oh. Guards. Are they here? We're a little bit more out in the open now. And as I said, it's... Nope, nope, nope. Don't do you. that. Yes, you. You got water on the brain. Um, maybe. I don't even see where those guards were, but apparently someone saw us. Hunters, witch hunters. Those guys shouldn't be mad at us for stealing. The reapers come for me. Yeah, I don't know. Who would have thought that would have been safe for the taking? I mean, there's lots of stuff here, too. Yeah? Okay. So what happens is, if we start to take stuff, and just wait to confirm it, in that intermediate phase, like, right... If we would get, yeah, loot something again. In the intermediate phase, right... Hold the phone. Here. We should hear the guards getting mad at us if they're like, hey, we see you stealing something. And if they don't, then we should be in the clear. That's why I was surprised that other time I didn't see any guards. I didn't hear any either, but then we got that clear notification of like, hey, if you do this, you're going to regret it. These are still suggesting there's loot here. Oh, hold on. It is odd how it is being very finicky. The distance and angle from which we can approach these things and actually loot them. Most of the time, it is saying, "No, you gotta, you gotta switch things up a little bit." Which is one thing if, say, it's some amazing loot. It's another thing if, you know, it's a bottle of water and then maybe it's not worth the extended effort. Are we going here? 
cannot. Are there things to loot here? There are not. Okay. And where exactly are we now? Okay, so we're getting in closer to the middle of town. This is a blacksmith. Oh, that is Dumpling Dude. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is Dumpling Dude, but it might just be from the other side. Yeah. Right? Are you Dumpling Dude? Yeah, welcome no, to you are. Workshop. You're a different dude. Sturdy craftsmanship at a reasonable price. We have not spoken to you yet. Okay, hold on. Show us what you have. Show me what you have on offer. You appear to be a weapon person. Wait, that's called a poker? That's a thing? That is a very nice weapon, however, one that we cannot yet actually wield. What are these... Weapons that have exclamation points on them as if they're for quests? Blunt swords? Bludgeoning damage 20 to 24, so they do almost no damage. They're like practicing, excuse me, practicing weapons, I would see. Pretty sure that's the point. And we could theoretically pick them up for quests in advance. Hmm. There are other. Crafting recipes for actual swords, though. That is interesting. What is metal tip? Silver damage? It is a silver sword. Level 26. That actually sounds like that could be useful. So, yeah. Let's perhaps pick up that recipe. Maybe so many chances stagger. Yeah, we can probably pass on that for now. Not a huge fan of the rune stones, generally speaking. I think that's what all these are going to be. What was this one? This was the... The steel sword, I think. I don't think that's terribly high in terms of damage. I think that might still be worse than what we're currently wielding. That's probably not worthwhile. Other rune stones... Oh, what? Hold on. What was that? Eight bolts? Oh, it's a kind of crossbow bolt. Okay. Interesting, yes, different, but still probably not something that we necessarily feel a need to use because we are so rarely using our crossbow. Tracking bolts? Same idea. Other rune stones? Okay. Then he is selling some pretty powerful crafting materials like meteorite. Don't necessarily know if it's worth going out of our way to outright purchase it. I know it is valuable, yes, but we've gotten our fair share and we haven't really used any yet, so might that mean we're okay? I don't really know. We did also just sell several weapons to people that are, well, to a random trader who is not a weapon specialist, because I did not necessarily anticipate that we were about to run into this guy. Crossbows, we do have two of the level 24 crossbows, and not that they're worth much, but they're... They at least have some weight to them, so I suppose it makes some sense to dump them. Then, outside of that, more weapons that we have not yet the high enough level to use. Might we have some old ones, though? We ought to dump. Perhaps. I'm trying to look at the level and see if there's anything that is way lower than our current level, like 9. Yeah, seems like that's the lowest where... Theoretically, we could repair some of these and they might be okay. But at this rate, when we're level 16, I would think that if we were to just buy a pretty normal level 16 sword, that would probably still be better than a repaired version of just about any of these guys. So it is kind of tempting to sell some of these guys here. I think that is probably worthwhile. Yeah. Let's sell the level 9 ones. Which also happen to be worth more. And then we have what? The shopkeeper has 200 coins remaining, so we could sell this, and that'd be pretty much everything that he can buy from us. This he wouldn't be able to afford. So yeah, I think we go that route. That way we're starting to rack up our fair share of coins here. We are also starting to rack up a fair share of inventory space, so we can be pretty aggressive with picking things up. That's also good. Let's see if there's any other junk we could sell to you. I think we did pick up some leathers and whatnot. 
but at this point we've made you pretty much broke. We have an old saddlebag, not a very good one at that. It's kind of heavy, it would be nice to get rid of that at some point. But, oh, you actually won't even purchase some of our random junk, so I take it back. Not an option. 